Hi guys, this is my 1972 Harley Davidson. I've owned it now on four years now and I've had a few things done to it. The kickstart was having problems when I first bought it. It was slipping so I had all brand new cogs inside all put in and everything. So that's fixed. Uh, I got electronic ignition put on it which has made it a lot better to um, to start and it, to make it run. Uh, as you can see it's black and chrome. It, it, I actually bought it off a trailer. It was sitting on the on the trailer with a bloody tarp over it beside the ocean. So with the heat and the cold and blah 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 with heat you know, and, and tarps, it started to sweat. So the chrome has got pits on it. Now the, the most worst thing is the oil tank. And you can see the oil tank is quite pitted. It really needs to come off and be chromed. I haven't worried about it at this stage because I've often thought, should I just pull it off, get the chrome stripped off and paint it black to suit the bike. Uh, the exhaust pipes have got little pits on it. So they're not um, bad, but you can notice it. Uh, most of the other chrome is not is, is in pretty good condition. It's got the big cow hanger handlebars on it. Really comfortable to ride. It's not a fast machine. It does vibrate. It's an iron head, guys. So come on, 1972 iron head. Of course, it's going to vibrate. Um, being solid, mounted, and everything. She's been a good bike. I'm 64 going on 65, so now it's time. It's getting too hard for me with being kickstarts and everything. Um, it's time for me to pass it on to a younger guy that wants to have a little bit of a play around with it. In my country, it's only $80 a year to register. Because it's 40 years old, it becomes a vintage. Okay, so I've shifted the uh, light switch up on top here. Um, as you can see, it's not going. So I turn the key on right over to turn the lights on. There's the lights. It does the... Um, the mileage one as well and that puts the lights on in the front and the high beam is up here as well so it's high and low uh, the, it's in kilometers I took the miles per hour off and put it into kilometers because that's what we run over here uh, as you can see it's it's a, it's a nice looking bike gets a lot of good stairs it does have a personal plate on it um, if you're in New Zealand that will go with the bike and it actually makes the bike look good okay so it's got that's not a rip it's a Harley Davidson logo um, as on the there okay so let's fire her up so we took the key okay keys on and over here is a fuel so we turn the fuel on this is our choke so we pull the choke up touch the exhaust pipes to show you that it is cold okay there they are it's all cold okay um i normally give it a, a quick throttle up here on there just a one quick one and then we pump it up so i'm gonna bring it over here and just watch you you can hopefully see that g'day guys Keep it on the road, guys. Okay, so with a Harley, gotta pump it up. Okay.
thought that might happen. It's still cold, so it's not going to idle. Um, by the time I get down here to the main road, it's nice and warm. I can get down to the lights and take this hand off the um, accelerator and to idle there. Now, guys, this is not like your common normal bike that you can ride on the streets. It's an American Harley. So, therefore, the gear shift is on the right-hand side of the bike. And your brake pedal is on the left hand side of the bike so mm, it uh, took me about two days to get used to it um, and once you once you're used to it it's easy peasy uh, where I go to get our warrant of fitnesses uh, it's got to have two a year and this bike because it's so cheap it's registered and warranted all year round uh, so I can ride it any time I like and um, the guys there at the Warrender Fitness place won't ride it because it's opposite to them and they're not used to it and I suppose they're afraid to drop it. I don't think it's been dropped. I've never seen really no bad skid marks on it or anything and on the highway I can let go the uh, like steering wheel and what have you and the bars I can let them go and it just rides nice and as long as I'm keeping the balance on my bum on the seat um, it'll just sit there and going into the corners it's really really comfortable because of the eight hangers like the wide ones um, it gets a lot of stairs um, but it's very comfortable very comfortable to ride but shakes come on it's an iron head um, and that's the way they're designed so uh, it's been a good bike, but it's time for it to move on to a younger generation. So Good luck guys. Keep your uh, wheels on the ground and keep out of those bloody hospitals, eh? And um, this is my first video that I've ever done. So I hope it turns out for us See you later guys. Thank you very much